Hey everybody, this is Becky Legira for CoinGeek.com. I am here in Berlin with Giovanni of Enchain at IEEE Coins. Yay, Berlin! Yeah. Yeah, so tell me, uh, Giovanni, what brings you here to this event? For me, it's uh, quite interesting because uh, I used to meet people which are not the people that I used to meet in uh, blockchain uh, conferences. In the sense, here they are much more geeky guys, <laughs> yeah. much more in the beats, which uh, anyhow, it's extremely useful for me. So I move my feet on the ground uh, rather than flying high on the cloud. Right? Yeah. So. And now you are with Enchain, which is so great. When I met you, were you with Ericsson. Yeah. Now you're with Enchain. Tell me what uh, that journey has been like so far. I know you've got you know your feet on the ground at Enchain now. So how's it going? Yeah. Last time we talked, right in Montreal, I was heading a blockchain for Ericsson globally, and much focus on permissioned and private blockchain. My vision already there. So without regretting of my what I have done for Ericsson, but. Uh, the vision was to um, push enterprises uh, blockchain to public. Um, talking to Enchain guys, I see a convergence of ideas and, and vision. So I said, yeah, this is the place where I want to expand my career and also contribute with all the experience I have made with Ericsson, contributing to move enterprises to public blockchain. So this is, well, it's not, uh, a big challenge, but uh, um, this is what we will be doing. Wonderful. Yeah, and we love having you here with your boots on the ground, educating people like at this IEEE event. You were on a panel, amazing job, and you were speaking about how enterprises are adopting blockchain, like you said, and some of the challenges that come along with this. And one of those challenges is when it comes to transparency of data, because IT people, they don't like transparency sometimes. They don't want right. things to be easy to access, but right. they don't fully understand how the blockchain plays a role in their job. So tell me how uh, blockchain really yeah. should be perceived from an IT well, professional. It's a different uh, sales pitch that you have to adopt when you talk to enterprises mm -hmm. because in public blockchain everybody knows about transparency but in enterprises transparency not necessarily it's a very good benefit so the way i introduce transparency which is still a benefit of blockchain is uh, actually to bundle transparency on, uh, with uh, privacy because uh, for enterprises uh, it's extremely important to have uh, privacy and the privacy you might think it's the opposite of transparency right which indeed it is but uh, this is uh, all my point when I pitch blockchain for enterprise. So privacy and transparency, they are sides of the same, same coin, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And with, for instance, a platform like BSV, you have the possibility to configure the platform to provide either transparency, tuning the level of transparency that you basically want. So BSV is one of the very few platform or maybe the only platform providing such kind of transparency plus or privacy based on the way you configure plus many other very wonderful capabilities which was one of the reasons which attracted me to, to Enchain, right? Super cool, and I'm so glad that you're here to help explain enterprises this whole transparency, privacy side of the coin. And also on your panel, we were talking about AI and what enterprises think of this technology, what kind of benefits it potentially will bring. I know that this was not you know, your area of expertise in Ericsson, for example, but there are crossovers between AI and blockchain, especially when it comes to data management. Tell me where you think the ultimate opportunities are for AI within enterprise. Absolutely. AI will be another key technology to combine with blockchain, and we will see the wonderful things that those two technologies will manage to expose very shortly because AI needs a blockchain. reason why AI needs blockchain is because uh, one of the risks of AI, AI is trained on data. Now, who will secure that this data is trustful? Or who will secure that this data is not manipulated? So that's why AI needs a blockchain in order to keep safe the data to keep the traceability and the immutability of data, which only blockchain can provide. So the marriage of the two technologies is, is evident. This, if not done yet, but this definitely will come.
And one of the phrases I love that Dr. Wright continuously uses is garbage in, garbage out. We don't want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we need to be extremely careful on the data that we use on, on AI. And blockchain is the technology providing that layer of security, that level of trust that we need for trust, trustable AI, right? Mm. Very good, Giovanni. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure seeing you here in another city, a new place. And yes, keep, uh, yes. keep up the amazing work. I'm here with Mika from Enchain. You've been on a couple of panels today doing an amazing job. And I wanted you to talk about the, the underlying factor of data integrity and how this ties into all the technologies that we are talking about today. Yeah, so data integrity is something that we've never had before blockchain. Blockchain is the first system that really enables us to have a secure, immutable storage system. And so I think with all these different technologies that we're talking about, AI, IoT, IPv6, they all rely on this data integrity system and it really helps those technologies as well as them helping blockchain. Absolutely, and I know, I know you also mentioned that micropayments can play a role in all this. Of course, we need a scalable blockchain in order to do this cheaply, but tell me the role that micropayments could play into really bringing all of this tech to life. Micropayments is something that we've not even seen the full potential of. So in the same way, I, I like to compare it to internet and social media. Um, we didn't know when internet first came around that we were going to be messaging each other like every single day all the time, that we're just going to be connected uh, the whole time with all these different people. I think that we're going to have to see the same revolution with micropayments. I think that you know we're starting to see interesting use cases like social media, people receiving very small payments for making like a, a social media post or receiving that payment for posting something that, that's interesting. I think we can also think about there's models around data streaming, like movie streaming. If you don't like a movie after 30 seconds or 30 minutes, you don't have to pay for the rest of it. You know, these are kind of applications of, of things that we're already seeing, but I really hope that we have some great entrepreneurs that are going to develop new, completely crazy ideas that we've not even thought about so far. So I'm really, really interested in micropayments. Yeah, oh, micropayments, such an exciting space. And this ties into Web3, which you made a great point saying a lot of people talk about Web3, but they don't actually even know what it means. <laughs> I know that Web3 is really front and center of your goals at Enchain and how to bring the capability of Web3 to the world. So tell us how you would define Web3. And I think you even have a podcast to recommend. Just tell us, yeah, give us, give us everything you got in Web3. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm also with everyone else. I still don't quite know if I fully understand Web3 yet. There's so many different ideas out there. For me, I think that, um, you know, I, I've, I've been thinking, actually this conference has really helped me to process a lot of these ideas. Imagining blockchain as kind of a fundamental layer, like communication layer, protocol layer that everyone is using, like we have different internet layers. And then we talk about internet as like a concept, like communication protocols, we really mean a way to communicate data and how to talk to a mobile device that's across the globe. I think that Web3 for me is, is something similar where we, we're talking about a whole system and that system includes blockchain. So we have properties like uh, data ownership, security, privacy, and I, I think that this is really what, what I'm starting to realize is, is going to be Web3. It has really helped me to kind of process all of this information and I'm starting to form an idea in my mind of how these different elements fit together. So it's called Untangling Web3, a podcast that a couple of my colleagues at Enchain are doing, Jack and Alec. And the idea is to help kind of process this information and help everyone understand what Web3 is about. And they've got a lot of different topics that they're talking about. They're getting different uh, hosts on. I think it's a, a great way to get the idea of Web3 out there. I know that you were also on a diversity panel, which I really found to be an interesting component to the schedule here. Why do you think it's important to have panels like this when it comes to these really deep tech kind of conferences? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's something that's really close to my heart because, you know, I've been in a tech space for like throughout my whole education and then now uh, working in blockchain. So like I'm often one of the few women in the room or in the space like there's really 
Uh, it's a really personal experience for me. And so I know how it is to go through these spaces and move through these spaces and experience them. And I really want to, one, share my experiences about that and two, uh, help empower other people to also come into those spaces. So it's a really personal, uh, important for me personally. Well, I'm so glad that you had the opportunity to join that panel yeah. today. <laughs> well, thank you so much. All your heavy lifting is done now. It's time to have some fun. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's Becky Legero for CoinGeek.com. Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today, but what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Blockchain 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.